On today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the Porn Star Martini. Hey everyone, welcome back once again to The Blind Pig. As always, I'm your host, Jason. The Porn Star Martini was created in 2002 by bartender Douglas Ankra at the Townhouse Bar in Knightsbridge, London. The drink was originally named the Maverick Martini after a nightclub he would frequent in Cape Town, South Africa. He would later change the name, admitting the Maverick Martini didn't capture the spirit of the drink. He wanted something that would stand out, sound more bold, sexy, and playful, and settled on the Porn Star Martini. While this drink does not even remotely resemble a classic martini, and I certainly don't resemble your typical Porn Star, the Porn Star Martini is a drink I've seen on menus for years, and only recently I got the masculine courage to actually order it. Boy, was I pleasantly surprised with how delicious this drink was. I knew it was something we had to film for sure. What I didn't realize, though, is how difficult it would be to find fresh passion fruit in Pennsylvania in the winter. After trying four different grocery stores, the best we could find is frozen cubes uh, and this passion fruit puree infused syrup. As the goal of my channel has always been to show you how easily you can make your favorite drinks at home without fancy equipment or hard to find ingredients, I think using these will actually serve as great examples of what you might also have available to you locally. If you can find fresh, use it. If not, these should still make for a delicious drink. This drink uses a ton of ingredients, as you can see by what I have on the table here. They all come together wonderfully, though, for a combination of stuff that goes in and out of the drink. That's right, I said out of the drink. You'll see why in a moment. Uh, they should all work together fantastically to make an excellent cocktail. Let's get to it. We have our shaker full of ice. To it, we start out with a ounce and a half of vanilla vodka. We chose Stoli. Use whatever vanilla vodka you have. Next, we're going to use a half ounce of our passion fruit liqueur. It's also a little hard for me to find. I could not get it locally in my state. Um, don't tell the state, but I had to actually order it online. Uh, you can buy it right from the company. Paso, I believe is how it's pronounced. It's also what they called for in the original recipe. Uh, here's a tip for you. Buy two bottles. It's free shipping. Uh, we're going to use half an ounce of this. I did try this uh, off camera as well. It's ex extremely sweet, um, but really tastes pretty delicious. Got a cool red color to it also. Should add some nice color to our cocktail. We're going to use a half ounce of lime juice, which I have already squeezed. Always use fresh for that. The original recipe actually calls for a vanilla simple syrup. I don't have any of that ready to go. And again, I'm trying to make stuff that's easy for you to, to find at home and make at home. Uh, so we're just going to use a regular simple syrup. I know for sure it's going to work fine. Uh, give it a quick shake and we're going to use a half ounce of that. We're gonna use a full ounce of passion fruit puree, excuse me. Um, as I mentioned, uh, I was able to find two different types. Um, I was able to find a frozen chunk uh, that actually thawed into pretty much a puree already. Um, this should work much better, I'd, I'd say, than the syrup. This is what you have available, the flavors there, you can absolutely use that. Since we have the fresh frozen stuff, whatever you wanna call it, we're gonna go with that. Uh, and we're gonna use a full ounce of that. a little chunky so we're going to double strain this here at the end but that's what puree is and we're going to go ahead and shake that up vigorously all right we're going to double strain this which just literally like it sounds you're going to use your shaker to strain the first part and then if you have access to a small strainer using the cap of another shaker if you wanted to just to kind of filter out those chunks of the puree it's got a beautiful color to it here. The smell is fantastic. Uh, the garnish this calls for that you would want to use uh, would actually be half of a fresh passion fruit. Again, I can't find it. Not available locally. Maybe it's where I am. Maybe it's uh, the time of the year. Either way, I couldn't find it. You might have trouble finding it as well. So we're going to skip the garnish for this one. Uh, the one thing this drink does call for, which is a little unconventional, I mentioned something about being outside the drink. Uh, the drink was actually designed to sip on sparkling wine alternatively while you sip on the cocktail. So they actually call for a two ounce sidecar of sparkling wine. I did buy a fresh bottle for this video. The wife didn't realize what we bought this for. She drank already a good portion of it, but we only need two ounces, so she left us plenty to work with. Pour about two ounces of that. And we're good to go, guys. Like I said, this drink is meant to be sipped Alternatively, your sparkling wine and your passion fruit uh, porn star martini here. So we'll go ahead and take a little sip of the sparkling wine. And then, cheers. Oh, it smells fantastic. It's a, oh, 
That is a delicious drink. Seriously, that is a fantastic drink. If it's better somehow with fresh passion fruit, I almost don't believe it because I don't think this drink can get too much better. I freaking love this, guys. I'm going to do another sip of this real quick. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. It's not a martini. I'm not a porn star, but guys, this was the porn star martini. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, leave a comment below, subscribe. We'll see you soon. Cheers. What I didn't realize, though, is how difficult